welcome back to my youtube channel my name is beata matasani for those of you who do not know me and i am a 2023 2024 shipping scholar from the beautiful mountain kingdom that is from lesotho that is a country in an african continent for those of you who do not know and i'm currently in scotland at the university of glasgow so i'm just going to share with you some of the important things that you guys have to do if you were part of the 67,461 applicants that uh, applied for the shipment scholarship and out of this i have seen that it's only about 60,000 that is eligible so let me say if you are part of the 60,000 eligible scholars then please sit down and listen to this thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed who has liked who has shared and everything please make sure that you watch till the end and make sure that you like you suggest this video to other people whom you think or whom you know very well that they did apply because i'm going to be spilling the tea and i'm really grateful the family is growing i would love to see it grow bigger so there are quite a number of things that need to be done uh by you applicants and i would love you to listen i've written some of the points down such that i do not forget what i am to say or what i'm about to say so there are important deadlines that you have to make sure that you do what you take cognizance of them like the 20th the 20th of february this year is the J deadline for submitting your educational certificates and also making sure that your reference letters are submitted shivning does not um do what is not responsible for the submission of your reference letters as an applicant you have to make sure that you did um do and ask the people whom you feel like know you to write you the reference letters and i would advise that if you haven't done so please do that right now why so because those people also do have some extra activities or they are also busy so you don't want to be forcing them to write the reference letters or kind of like pushing them to write the reference letters at an 11th hour they need to take time of that and it is your responsibility or it is your duty to make sure that you keep on checking on them each and every now and then to ensure that of course they have um written their reference letter and while doing this i would advise that you should make sure that you choose someone who knows you very well like it should be somebody who knows you academically like maybe he or she has been your tutor or your professor or what your teacher somebody who knows you very well who knows your aspirations your future goals and all that and it should be also somebody whom maybe you have worked hand in hand with someone who knows that this person is really capable and make sure that you have submitted your educational qualifications uh, or your educational certificates because after the 20th you will not have any uh, opportunity to do so and then how are you going to do that i will leave a link in the description box below such that you uh, all do that and then what will you have to do you will log into your application system click um to the submitted button or under review applications and then after that click open and then select section five that is whereby you will be uploading your documents or you'll be uploading your um what what is this your reference letters and then submit yeah that is what you have to to do that so i'll leave a, a, a link to that in the description box below please make sure that you read the description box below and the other thing is if you haven't applied to the universities this is the best time when you have to do so which i believe that you have applied and we know that you have to apply to three universities such that at the end of the day you have at least one unconditional offer from those universities so if you haven't applied please make sure that you do so as soon as possible why do you want to do that you want to do that such that the you kind of like um 
stop stressing up on unnecessary things that you know very well that you could uh stress this like the shifting journey is a long journey <laughs> if you thought that when you are done with um the application that is when you're done no it's just a small portion like there's a lot of processes that need to be done and they need somebody who is always ready and as a leader i do believe that you are like always ready so having applied to the universities maybe by now you have an unconditional offer or you have a conditional offer but by now you have to have applied or please make sure that you apply because some of the universities in the uk have different deadlines so you don't want to find that you have a shipment scholarship but you do not have an admission at school or you have an admission at school but you did not um make it to the shipping or you, you you have an admission at a certain university but now because of certain things that you did not do on time now you are unable to get the scholarship because you need to make sure that you um what you got all the boxes ticked for you yeah so if you have an what an unconditional of a letter then congratulations to you goodos then what do you need to do you need to make sure that you apply for accommodation and you apply for accommodation on time on this one please make sure that you do not send any uh, money up front especially because you haven't even been called for an interview or you haven't even done certain things so please just make sure that you apply for accommodation why am i saying this you need to apply for accommodation on time such that um you get or you secure a place that you love on time because there are a lot of people who are going to apply and they're going to apply late like myself i did apply late that was in june i think so but i got accommodation i think around august and of which i do believe that had i applied prior i could have got the best accommodation the accommodation that i live in right now is really okay for me but i feel like had i applied before i could have explored uh, different opportunities of accommodation and i would um recommend a student accommodation why so because student accommodation is very uh safe and as much as it's expensive but it's safe and you know very well that you are not obliged to pay any fees up, up front especially if you are a shipment scholar so if you have applied if you haven't please make sure that you do apply for accommodation one of the things that you have to do is if you have a conditional letter of a letter um maybe i don't know if some people do not know what a conditional of a letter is but i did explain in some videos previously of this shipment and then a conditional offer letter means that as a university we have admitted you but provided that you do one two three and four and one of the major things that they do is you need to have passed an english test with a certain thing and there are different english tests we're talking of drilling we're talking of pte we're talking of IELTS and many many other more, and then I will come and make a my personal experience of writing an English test. But with this one, I think, or oh, I know that yeah, not I think I know that not all the universities do require an IELTS exam or English test, but most of them do so. And please know that shivening has nothing to do with the IELTS. It is your sole and responsibility to do that as an applicant to ensure that you have, a, um, you take care of the costs. You have also written that English examination. And for that, the English examination is about 4,500. The IELTS is about 4,500. Uh, or Maluti, I will convert that and then write it on the screen how much that is in pounds. And you need to make sure that you have that money, which means that if you are a spender, please just um, hold your breath, save that money because you're gonna need that money in the in the work in the coming months. Yeah. So some universities, if they tell you that they need you to write an English test. You would find that in your country your country 
his english is one of the official languages i know so many shipment scholars from my country who were kind of exempted from writing that english course because my country uh, has english as an official language but with me the it wasn't the case it was a whole different case so i had to write like i was obliged and it's a whole story of another day of which i believe that you guys need to watch that video because i did had so many challenges and if i hadn't just pursued or endured trust me i wouldn't be here so i am still going to make that kind of video yeah so having said that then which means that you have to save also like like i said because you have to save for what is this for the english writing because shipping is not going to reimburse you that it has to come out from your pocket and with countries like mine there are no english centers in my country i had to move to another country that is in south africa in Joburg, Durban, or cape town or i don't know the other place but it's in south africa so for you to do to do that there's some accommodation uh costs transportation costs food and also examination costs so which means that you need to make sure that you have that money with you and you're like you're set because if you don't have that money and then you find that you're called for an interview and maybe you are lucky to have made it to an interview but now you have no chance of um what booking then that is going to be a problem and also i feel like it's wise for you if your university has given you a conditional of offer letter whereby you are obliged to write an english test then you make sure that what do you do you keep on practicing now even before you get the response from shivin whatsoever you need to practice right now go on youtube search how 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 like people's experiences on PTE, on Duolingo, on IELTS and all that. And try to do that to familiarize yourself. Because the thing is, <laughs> there's going to be so much. There is just going to be so, so much. And it needs a lot of practice. Like you can never say, you know, like, okay, I'm done. I'm like fully, fully done with this whole thing. No. So, yeah. Now, when you have got... A response from shivnan that you're called for an interview and whatsoever and then after getting a good response of congratulations you have selected you blah 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 you are going to be required to pay for tuberculosis tests but that is if you are in a certain country it's not all the countries i don't know how the selection is done but with me like i said i'm from Lesotho, so i had to do a tb test and that tb test cost me something like 2500 maloti i will convert this on the screen of how much that amount is and that came from my pocket but with this one the lucky thing is shivna will reimburse you like the following year either in january or february or sometimes in december of that year but with us we are told that we will be reimbursed that money on this month end january or february like it's gonna be in batches so you need to know that again this is transportation cost again this is also accommodation cost it's also food you need to like cater that for yourself so if you also from a country like mine i know some countries uh what shipping has centers certain centers you have to make your tb tests at those centers you don't just go to any other you uh, any other hospital and then conduct a tv test and then give it to them no you don't do that they give you a list of centers that you need to do and for us of course from lesotho we had to move to south africa and then do those tests and i know very well that people from eswatini if i do remember yes they also did the same thing and then people from what is this Botswana, they also did the same thing so which means that you need to like at least save money please 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 save money don't be a spender at all also when you are like okay you're done you have been selected uh, as a shipping scholar for this year that's 2024 2025 which means that you will need to start uh, the visa application process and whatnot with this one the lucky thing is the visa is the visa costs uh that well taken care of by shipping however however you need to 
take care of the transportation costs the accommodation costs the food and small things like those ones but the application and whatnot like the costs are really paid for by shipping which is a very good thing still i will not stop emphasizing on save that money please because you're gonna need it you are gonna need it and then what else i believe that as a leader you are born ready and also as a leader you have good saving skills at this point in time if you know that you not good with saving please make sure that you do something about it that is you learn how to save because you're gonna do so why am i saying this because when you get here oh let me say when you are about to leave your country and then you are at the embassy maybe they'll hold a celebrity uh event for you guys or ceremony for you guys and then there'll be a package and then in that package there are a lot of things which include a card, a card that has money, money, a lot of money. And in that money, you're given arrival allowance, you're given accommodation uh, money for two months. That is, if you, you your, your school's resume in September, you'll be given from accommodation money from September and then October. Then you'll only be paid another money in november which means that you need to make sure that you are very good with handling money because of course that money is a lot of money and you'll somehow feel like i have everything you know you want to buy a laptop for me but don't do that don't do that use that money for what it is required for please don't do that so if you have problems with that please make sure that you sort that out also what you need to do is if you still kind of like not sure what you want to research about and whatnot if this is the right time for you to kind of like okay uh identify your interests as a person where your interests are and then what what your dissertation topic would kind of like be uh such that maybe you you're not blank about that and also try by all means to find or research how life is as an international student in uk such that you don't become shocked when some of the things do come because trust me after the congratulatory message like there are going to be a lot of emails a lot of emails that you guys have to make sure that <laughs> you respond to and you do whatever that is required to be done so um, i think this is all of what i wanted to say oh no no, no it's not the last thing which is a bonus tip is um if you have applied for instance let me say you have applied at the university of Glasgow, please don't restrict yourself to shivening alone why am i saying this shivening scholarship is such a prestigious scholarship so this year you have applied like six or seven thousand people and only sixty thousand people were eligible which means that out of that sixty thousand people there's still gonna be a, a what a, a selection done and a lot of selection because they opt for about 1,000 something people, but I guess it's dependent on their funding. So I don't know how many people they will choose this year, but you have to make sure that everything yours is okay. So coming back to my point is if you have applied at University of Glasgow, ask University of Glasgow, which kind of other scholarships do you have or other bachelor's do you have for international students? So they will tell you such that you apply for those so that if ever if ever something happens then you're not lucky enough to get the shipment scholarship at least you still continue to get your you what your dreams achieved but um i would say that what pray very much <laughs> pray hard to ensure that you get the shipment scholarship so yeah this is all guys and good luck to each and every one of you the journey is continuing like it will only stop in september i guess whatever you be like a sigh of relief anyway good luck to each and every one of you and please if you have made it up to this end thank you so much please do subscribe if you haven't please do like please do comment thank you bye